Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'll be going over uh, using illustration graphics and how that can help you in your MOS exam. So we're going, the first thing we're going to do is add SmartArt. So you might be familiar with SmartArt if you've used PowerPoint before, but we'll use it in Word. So you would go to the Insert tab, then go to SmartArt. And what we want is a vertical picture list, so we have to go to the list uh, group here. And then find vertical picture list so that we can add a picture and then vertical picture list is right here, so we're going to press OK. And then let's say if we wanted only two shapes, uh, we have to get rid of one. So I'm just going to click delete on, this, on the third one. And then we're going to type in Excel for the text. So we'll just start entering the text right on the shape. Something like that. Um, let's add text here. All right, so now we'll add a picture to our smart art here. So we'll click on this picture and then we'll choose from file. And then we'll click the picture from file and then do the same thing here. All right, then we'll change the, you can also change the height and the width of the diagram. So the smart art that we did under Smart Art Tools and then Formatting, now the Format tab. And we're gonna format this as three inches in height and let's say five inches in width to make that fit into our document. So that's how you change the, um, the Smart Art height and width. And then you can also choose the wrap text. So now that I've got the diagram highlighted, I'm gonna choose uh, top and bottom. Okay, so I block it from the top and bottom. All right, so now we'll just go over some uh, wrap text and changing the color as well as um, changing up the position of the picture on your page. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we go to wrap text. And if you don't do this first, uh, you can't do the second part of this question. So um, we're gonna do behind the text. So that's the wrap text behind the text. And then we'll change the position. So we'll go to position, more layout options. And then the vertical alignment, we will choose in here. So we'll do alignment and then make sure it's top relative to the page. And then the horizontal alignment, we'll make it um, alignment center, center to the page. So you have all these um, options here, but we're gonna say center to the page, press okay. And there we go. So it's centered to the page right at the top now, as before it had a little bit of space in there. And then you can also change the height and width. So I'm going to change the height to three. So just one more thing. You might not want to change the color, but if you want to sort of have writing over top of this, because we did put the text wrap uh, behind text, you can click on the picture and then go to picture tools format. And there's this interesting option called um, wash out, but this is probably when we're recoloring, this is probably the best option if you're writing, typing uh, over a picture. You can use a wash out effect. And now we're going to go into, so we'll select this diagram here, and we'll go into adding a caption. So for that we will go to references, and then insert caption. And you can call it whatever you like, but let's say we'll call it training topics here. Uh, we'll choose which kind of label. I'm going to choose figure below selected item. Okay, we'll call it um, training topics. And then the below the selected item, and I'll press OK. And then we should have a caption right here. So that'll uh, tell us what this is all about. And that's how you would uh, insert a caption.